What's up guys, and today I have an interesting video for all my Ingve fans. In this video, I'm going to kind of share with you guys a quick little preset that I made that's trying to replicate the more modern Ingve sound, which in my opinion is definitely a lot more wet and it just has a lot more delay and those type of effects. So the type of Ingve tone or era of Ingve tone I was going for was this kind of 2008, I would even say his modern tone is pretty similar, but I was going for the type of tone that you hear in this performance. So you guys can watch this video and reference this performance for the tone that I was trying to go for. Again, I wasn't 100% trying to match the exact tone that we hear in the video, just trying to match uh, something similar uh, in a short amount of time. So I will um, break down the preset right now. So you can see it's a pretty new preset that I just uh, made. I haven't even named it yet. So um, starting with the drive block, uh, I just have the DOD 250 gray model some people say that they find this uh, model kind of dark sounding and flubby i do hear a little bit of what they're saying but uh, i just kind of wanted to use it to showcase that you can use it and still get a very kind of authentic ingve sound out of it so the way i used it was just drive and tone at 10. and for input block i didn't have anything interesting just the stock settings there and for the amp type i like the 1987x treble drive again this is pretty key in my opinion for any kind of uh, Ingve sound is that you have to max out the gain on the Marshall that you're using. So I would use that at 10 and the EQ controls can vary a little bit just based on how you hear it, kind of what you're setting the preset to. Like, for example, in this preset, I set it to the uh, neck pickup on my guitar. So that's a, definitely a different type of tone if you're going for more of a bridge sound. So if you want the bridge sound, you kind of want to start there. Are, are you going to use the neck a little bit more or are you going to use the bridge? So I decided in this preset to kind of just use the neck more because I'm pretty sure that Ingve just uses the uh, the uh, neck position definitely a lot more than his bridge position, especially when we're talking about his soloing. So I kind of voiced it to match my neck pickup instead of the bridge. And for the cab block, I decided to use just a factory cab so I could share with you guys which one I use and there isn't kind of a so there isn't a paid wall where you have to buy a certain preset or whatever to match the sort of preset that I had. So I just used a factory one. Uh, and for delay settings, this is pretty important. Um, for time, I used a, a decent amount of time. You could have this even higher, maybe up to like 600. If you have ever heard Ingve play live, he kind of like, for example, sometimes he'll like shred and he'll stop playing and then you can hear like the trails kind of just like trailing off. So he uses a good amount of delay, especially again, if we're talking about his more modern tone, you can hear these like trails. So that's why I decided to use stereo tape. Again, depending on how much you want to use, I don't think you want to use like 800 or 900. That's like a little too much, but I think anywhere between 500 and like 700 would be fine. For mix, I went for 23%, which is a decent amount. But again, Ingve's modern tone is pretty dang wet. So I think for it to kind of stand out in a mix, you do have to use quite a bit of it. And for reverb, I mean, some people might not even use reverb, but I feel that sometimes when you have an amp like a Marshall and you're driving it, sometimes the amp can be kind of bright, like almost like too bright. So I feel like adding some reverb kind of like darkens the sound a little bit. So it kind of rounds out the sound in a more pleasing way and also gives you kind of a little bit of depth that sometimes delay doesn't give you. So for reverb, I used a large spring. And again, I had that percentage pretty high because we're going for a modern kind of wet sound. At the end, I did add an EQ block where I just added a little bit more brightness because when I was playing with the backing track, trying to improvise a little bit, which is kind of what you guys heard in the beginning of the video. And you'll hear the full improvisation, just a short little bits of uh, me playing over an Ingve backing track, but I felt that I lacked a little bit of um, cut in the mix. So I added a little bit of brightness, even though if you play it by itself, you don't necessarily need to add brightness, but in a mix, I felt that I needed to just brighten it up a little bit. And I did add a little bit of lower frequencies to just balance out the spectrum of sound. So just add a little bit of body as well. And for the output block, there's nothing special here. So that's pretty much my five minute preset that I made. I think a lot of the tone is in using a Stratocaster, specifically one with single coil pickups, because that's just so signature of Ingve. And you kind of can get a decent Ingve sound using other guitars that uh, are not strats and have humbuckers in them, but it, it usually doesn't sound as authentic. So I certainly recommend using a strat for this particular preset. 
I recorded. So again, this is me just trying to replicate the way he plays. I'm not Ingbe himself, so I can't play exactly like the guy, or he's not the only guy that I study because there's a lot of kind of people who almost, they almost like want to be Ingbe clones and play exactly like the guy. This is just me trying to replicate him by studying a little bit of the techniques he used in that particular video. So that's pretty much what you'll hear from me. Hopefully guys, you guys learned something from this video and it proved useful. I'm happy to answer any questions. I think I'm pretty good at just replicating different players and sounds because I've been playing for such a long time and it's just something that I've noticed and I'm just kind of naturally good at. Anyway guys, if you have any questions or would like me to just send you the preset, always uh, consider commenting and I'll happily share it with you guys. And if you have any questions on uh, some of the uh, techniques or just a kind of tone stuff or gear stuff, I'm happy to help. So hopefully guys, we will see you in the next video because I do plan on making some more videos like these. Maybe in the next video, I'll pick a different player or a different band to break down a quick little preset for you guys. Leave a comment, like, and hopefully guys, we will see you in the next video. Okay.